Welcome to Miami. This is a big event city, and folks here are fired up for this one inside Hard Rock Stadium as the Miami Hurricanes try to represent the great tradition of their program. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it as we'll see the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on the 23rd ranked team, the Miami Hurricanes. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Hurricanes will kick this away to get us going. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. They're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. Kibbe decides to keep it here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. And it's a nice job by this defense. They saw option, actually forced the quarterback to pull the ball on the read, and then they corral him for a loss. You could tell they worked hard on that practice. So a tricky situation here, third and very long, inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Pass incomplete under heavy pressure, just got it away. Gosh, Chris, I just love this atmosphere. The home field advantage on full display. The defense flying around with energy. Nice job there on that third down of using the energy from the crowd to make that stop. And the Seminoles will send the punt team onto the field. And the ball is away from his own end zone. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz. And that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right. He shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Grab behind the line. It's Restrepo. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. The Hurricanes with first and ten here. Takes the handoff again. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from a snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Tight end goes in motion. Heading left after the handoff. And that run produces a decent game. Teams are getting more and more creative with how they run their counter plays. Gone to the days of everyone under center running the counter tray. Now you're seeing it modernized. We'll see how many different versions they'll run today. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. To throw, it's Ward. Fires it to the wideout. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it.
So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. This will be a 50-yard attempt. Let's see if he's got the leg. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. So after the foot there again to boot it away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And they'll try to pick it up on the ground. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. They lose yards on first down, so second and long from the 16. Looks right for a quick completion. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. However, the last these teams met, it came right down to the wire. Well, Chris, there's so many great rivalry games that we all look forward to every single year. Seems to be a tight matchup. But to avoid another punt here in the second drive, they got to convert if they're down. Drop him back. We're going to throw for the first down. And it's complete downfield. Tackle made at the 37. That's a solid game. A completion good for a first down. The offense working with a new set of downs here. Back to pass. It's Uyangala lay. Catch made on the... He stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain in that play. Second down play coming up. Ball handed off. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. Breaks a huddle and gets set. It's third down. And they pick up the first on the ground. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Well, good push up front here in this back. I tell you, he's got some outstanding vision to be able to find those creases to be able to get positive yards, and here he gets the first down. The Seminoles pick up enough yardage for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. Downfield shot, falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. And the QB will try again on second and ten. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to it, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Has no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up the coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. It looks like no return here as that punt heads out of bounds. And the Miami offense is back on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. It's a two-yard game. Second and eight coming up. 
Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. On the ground, it's Martinez. The game moves the ball to the 34. But I feel like they call that knowing. Chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Crucial third down play coming up. Dropping back. It's Ward. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They tackle him at the 48, but it's enough for a new first down. A sort of fresh set of downs. And here's the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Every now and then, we see a really good run. We tend to focus on what other people did in order for that run to happen. What the offensive line did. Maybe the receivers are blocking good on the edge. Sometimes, the running back is pretty good, too. And on that play, he picked up a lot of yards and made that happen with good effort. Defense is coming after him. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense loved to play the RPO game. And here early, they pick up some big yards. The Canes are in the red zone. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Second down play coming up for this offense. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Keeping it on the ground here. And they've got him at the five. Great run to set up scoring position here. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the... And the Canes come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, handoff. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Miami. Runner shows toughness and will refusing to be brought down. Ends up in the end zone. Yeah, that defender had no chance bringing down this ball carrier by himself. That's why you better have a couple defenders or else you're going to have more touchdowns like this. Extra point try coming now. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. Some positive signs in the last drive. They moved the ball, but eventually stalled. Came up empty. Fights through the tackler. They stop him right at the 24. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance in a really nice game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. 
Off play action. He's looking to throw. That's a fly out of the wide out. And it's incomplete. He just missed his target overthrowing it. And the replay booth has signaled they want to stop and have another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials will overturn that previous ruling. Handoff here from the shotgun. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. And now from the pistol formation. And the running back takes the handoff. Defense will make the stop and it will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. We begin the quarter with a crucial play, often setting up for this third down. Scanning the field. It's Uyangalale. Delivers from the pocket, complete over the middle. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Just a small game, looking at second and nine. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. He'll hand it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you start to see that affect the defense. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Quick throw to the left side. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. There are certain moments in a game that if you can execute, you have a great chance of winning. I would say in the red zone, coming up with touchdowns and converting on third downs. This is a great job of executing to keep this drive alive. Don't forget this play. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Looking for some space. It's Williams. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Snags the quick throw. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. And he finds his tight end for the catch. And they stop him just short, but defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. I don't blame the quarterback here. You get to third down with the catch radius that this tight end has, give it to him every single time. Now it's first and goal. Here we go, first and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Knowles. They're setting out to try the PAT.
PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17, strong job by the coverage team. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. On that last touchdown drive, they just pounded away with the ground game. Let's see if that formula works again. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. It's a nice wrap up there by the junior. That gain sets up a third down play. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's George. And he went backwards after the catch. That'll set up a fourth down now. Well, obviously you're gonna throw the football on third down. But man, they complete that pass and lose yardage to set up this big fourth down. The Hurricanes will line up to kick it away. On the return, it's Douglas. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? Well, the back has been busy, but very little to show for it tonight. That defense has been all over the running game. Offense getting set. It's second down. It's a draw to the back. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. It's third down for the offense. Try and muscle for the first down. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. The Knowles begin a new series here, first and ten. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Toa Fili. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. That completion makes it second down. The shotgun running play call. And the broken tackle there produces a solid gain. Crucial third down play right here. They'll try to run for the first down. And the Knowles are on the move here. Well, that's mano y mano right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. And the Seminoles pick up enough for a first down. And off in a single back formation. The pickup is seven yards. Now it's second and three. Six. 
seventh play of the drive coming up. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. Scanning the field, it's Uyangala Light. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. The quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. Coach chooses to go for a field goal attempt here. This will be a 50-yard attempt. See if he's got the leg. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Takes the handoff. It's Martinez. The Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. Boy, this back is running very well today and living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Edron James and Frank Gore and Willis McGahee and Clinton Portis. All those guys want to and ran the ball well. And right now, they got to be loving what they're seeing from this back. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? To the air. It's Ward. Receiver makes the grab. Good enough for a fresh set of downs. The spot the ball to 40. Man, I love these big receivers. This time he's able to use his big frame to almost box out the defender on that slant route. If you've got good timing, and this is hard to stop. We'll get to the line here in the no huddle. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Looking to throw it from the red zone. And the pass is incomplete. He dropped the first down attempt here across the middle. Really good job here by the defense and coverage. Did a nice job here of staying in phase with the receiver. There's no chance for a completion at all. That play makes it second and ten. Looking to throw again. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Hurricanes.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT puts him in front by seven. Now they get set to kick it away. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Seminoles' offense comes back on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. Caught on the outside. It's Douglas. When the defense had everything covered downfield, the quarterback tries to check it down. But how about the defensive speed to be able to sniff that out? Getting set. Here's second down. To throw. It's Uyangala light. Pass not complete. Well, Chris, as you know, anymore in college football, these tight ends are essentially wide receivers. They move them all over the place and try to find a good matchup. And they had one. They're just unable to complete the pass. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. The Seminoles will have to punt this one away. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. The returner is brought down. There is a flag on the field, so we'll check out this call. So first and ten, that's a costly mistake for the defense on fourth down. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught quickly. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. And they stay ahead of the sticks. They look to throw it here on second down. Quick completion to the tight end. And the offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The Knowles getting set on first and ten. And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's Benson. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun, looking for a receiver. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Now that's exactly what you love to see here in this two-minute offense. You come up with a big play, and all of a sudden your mindset gets much more aggressive. You're not thinking just about three points. Maybe take some shots, get the ball into the end zone. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So on first down, the field goal unit will come out there trying to get three points before the half. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. Return begins inside the 10. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. And the Knowles will kick this away to begin the second half. Turner choosing to field this one. 
He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Miami offense is back on the field. First play of the second half is a handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. How about the timing here by the defense to shoot that gap? As an offensive lineman, you have to anticipate that, close that gap off. Otherwise, it could be a long day. So behind the six, second and long from their 14. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. The game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. They pressure him and sack him. He'll be tackled inside the 10. Well, that's exactly what the coach, I'm sure, talked about there at halftime, is the defense is going to be out there on the field first. We're down in this football game. we got to get pressure on this offense, come up with some plays, and get the ball back to our offense. And that's exactly what they have a chance to do now. The Canes will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. So from his own end zone, he gets the kick away. Bringing it back, it's Douglas. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Now it's second down here. Grab down the middle. It's Douglas. They stop him, but it's a first down. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. The throw, it's Uyangalale. Catch made by the tight end. And they bring him down quickly, but that's a solid gain on the short throw. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second manageable here for this offense. Here's the second down play. The back's got it. And the Seminoles are looking to keep this drive going. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. The Seminoles pick up enough yards to move the sticks. On first and ten, look at the throw. Pass caught. Can he get in? And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. The Knowles will line up here on first down and goal. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Touchdown, Seminoles. That puts him on top in the second half. How about that, Chris? The quarterback does a nice job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly, and why not? With a receiver like this who can run like that, get him the ball as fast as you can and let him do his thing. Now here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT puts him up three. Getting set to kick the ball off now. For 
return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. Well, the offense goes with a counter play here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Receiver makes the catch. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first half. This isn't the most flashy play, but it's effective. A slant play coming out of the slot. It's a quick hitter against this defense. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Ball handed off. Stop after a small gain. Now looking at second and nine. Using his legs, it's Martinez. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Running back has it on the screen now. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. Man, really good job here by the defense flying around, recognizing the ball is out, and then making the tackle short of the first down. The Canes will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. Running it back, it's Douglas. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a shotgun run call. And tackled after a small pickup there. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. But just gives up on the play, throws it away, and now it's fourth down. And the Knowles will line up to punt it away. With the return, it's Restrepo. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get... Oh, a sack! The senior on this defense making a big play. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. This big guy's up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And he will be stuffed for no gain.
Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Quick throw to his receiver. He's a wide open receiver, complete. And it works, the first down to the 35. And the Canes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. They'll try the right here. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Dropping back, it's Ward. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Well, defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. So now it's third and short from the 43. Can they keep the drive going or perhaps face a tough fourth down decision? Misses the receiver, incomplete. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. No kick it away here. On the return, it's Douglas. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down after that previous play. And the quarterback keeps it here. And just a short gain this time, they're able to get him down. Well, not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. From the shotgun, drops back. And he's got his man open downfield. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. They'll hand it off. Nice run, he's brought down to the 44. Second down after that run on the previous play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, with the lead here, this is where you want to just take your time. The defense, as we know, they are looking to do anything they can to create an aggressive play to try to create a turnover. So you got to work that clock, but also protect the football. I'm sure the coach right now is preaching to all his guys and reminding them about ball security at this point in the game. Dropping back, it's Riangalala. Can't find anybody on third down, throws it away, and now coming up. Oh, man, you got to give your guys at least a chance here. Can't believe he just threw that one away. And the Seminoles will have to kick this away. That's his fourth punt already today. Oh. 
bringing it back. It's Restrepo. Returner brought down. Sets up the next drive. And the Miami offense is back on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Takes a shot as he gets the pass off. And it's caught way downfield inside the 35. Touchdown, Canes. And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. Well, this is why they love this guy so much, is when it's crunch time, he makes plays like this. What I love is the quarterback knows all you got to do is get the ball in his hands, and he can do the rest of the work and get it all the way to the end zone. Great play. See if they can convert the point after. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. Pickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Important second down play coming up. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. Looking to pass. It's Wiangala Light. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. Hey, the best thing that happens here, Chris, is he gets out of bounds. Gives the offense a chance to regroup, huddle up, make sure they have the right call here for this critical fourth down. The Seminoles will have to kick it away. And he's on for his fifth punt of the day now. The coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. Last possession, a one-play lightning strike with the big touchdown pass. Can the defense make adjustments here? Running with purpose. Again, looping through the defense. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. Good call here by the offense to be able to pick up this first down. And Chris, it makes you wonder, with under three minutes to go in this game and trailing, the defense sitting back in their base, I thought they might be in a little bit more of an aggressive mindset, turning the blitz loose, trying to create some plays to get the football back. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the the chemistry between these two. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They're going to run it. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage.
Fourth down and two coming up as they try to keep the drive going. There's the handoff. And he's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. How about the offense being aggressive? They decide to go for it here, and I got to give all the credit to this defense. Being aware, anticipating the call, knowing exactly where they needed to make the stop, and they did it. Second down after that run on the previous play. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He's inside the 10 now. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Man, I really love the way more and more offenses are using the receiver in motion pre-snap. Give him a chance to get the football with a couple of blockers in front of him. He's got all that speed built up. You get the ball in his hands, and you better look out. He could be off to the races. The Knowles are going to cash in in the red zone. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Tailback takes the handoff again. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. First and goal. And the offense punch it in and claim the lead here in the fourth quarter. They're going to run it here quite get there brought down at the two Chris that's positive yards on first and goal which is obviously good but now we're at this point in the game critical series they've got to find a way to get the ball in the end zone it's a second in goal play for the offense on the ground trying to muscle it across the line Touchdown, Florida State. They jump in front here in the fourth. Ah, you just love to see this. When the game is on the line, this offensive line does a great job of executing up front, giving this back just enough room to be able to get into the end zone and give them the lead. Now the important PAT to make it a three-point lead. And the kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. Remember, last time they went for it on fourth down and got stopped, and the opponent went right down the field. See if they can recover from that here. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders of this defense. Well, you got to do a better job with your fake as the quarterback. The defense did not bite at all on the play action, allowing them to continue to come after the quarterback and come up with that sack. They lose yards on first down, so second and long from the 16. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Tackle made after just a short game. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. 
How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Well, he just threw it away here, Chris, and it's not the worst decision. You'd wish he'd find a guy open to give him a chance for this offense to convert, but at least they have some room now to work if they want to bring the punter out. The Hurricanes will line up to boot it away. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. Running it back, it's Douglas. But he's got some space here. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. First down, we're going to throw the football. Caught near the sideline, it's Douglas. Well, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Second down play coming up. And they'll just try to run some clock here, keeping it on the ground. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Here we are, late in a close game. Three short play coming up, third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. And he pulls in the catch. Tackles made quickly, but that's a big gain. Ball moves to the 35-yard line. Well, I love the call here by the offensive coordinator. Has the lead in the fourth quarter. It's third down. Instead of running, you throw it. Take a chance of a potential incompletion, but instead you trust your quarterback. Completion, first down, fresh set of downs, and you continue to work that clock. Quick throw caught on the left side. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Second down play coming up for this offense. On the handout, they'll test the right side here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. They'll run it from the gun. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Rolling the dice a bit. Up one possession and going for it on fourth down. They'll run it here. He did not get it. A crucial play by this defense. What a fourth down stop. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Quick throw to the left. The pass is intercepted. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. That's a potential game changer. The pick and the big return. I get wanting to be aggressive, but down late in the game like this, that's a throw you just can't make. And now, you're probably not going to get the ball back. This could end up costing them the game. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. The shotgun handoff here. And he stopped just short down to the two, but an excellent run. Boy, this guy just keeps playing good football. He's like a bowling ball out there. Gets low pad support, running over top of defenders. Just a gritty runner and a big part of the reason they're enjoying this lead here in the fourth quarter. 
First and goal. A late touchdown here would just about secure the victory. Looks like the quarterback will just take a knee here. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. There's the snap, and he just takes a knee. 